from the Vauxhall stand, you really do get the impression they're out to forge blood. It's the biggest stand at the motor show. There's 38 cars on display here. But the car everybody's come to see is the new Vauxhall Cavalier. It was launched back in August, but this is the first time we've seen the GSI 2000. That's got a 16-valve engine, 156 brake horsepower, and it's the hot car of the range. And also on the stand is the four-wheel drive version of the new Cavalier. This has a very interesting system. The four-wheel drive disengages the rear wheels when you brake, and it's also got a viscous coupling to match power output to front and rear axle, depending on road conditions. So what's so new about the Cavalier? Well, the new bodies are very low drag. It's 21% more slippery than the old car, and they're stiffer, they're lighter, they're longer, and they're wider. There's a lot more room, for instance, in the back seat, and that was always the problem of the old Cavalier. Janet's been out on the road in the car. Let's see what she made of it. Sometimes when a familiar car has gone through a reboot and a redesign, you end up wondering where all the time, effort, what to say, the cost went. Not so with this Cavalier, because they produce a very comfortable, performance car as a comparison to the economy rate. It has to be said that I'm not the poorest person ever to have sat behind the wheel, but I find this car very good to drive because it's extremely responsive. It is big and it is powerful, and you feel that you're very much in control when you're driving it and it's not driving you. And because it's responsive, it's getting in and out of these windy roads very smoothly indeed. I would describe it as being very user-friendly, extremely comfortable, and there's a reassuringly familiar face here too. The steering wheel feels very good. Like I said, it's powerful, but it's not overpowering. And especially the road holding too, very comfortable, very light. In fact, if there is one fault, if you can call it that, it's that the car being deceptively light and powerful usually takes you to speed, exceeding the limit if you're not careful in keeping an eye on the dial. Part of the Vauxhall philosophy in creating the new Cavalier is to make it easier to maintain, and that's good news for owners and garages. The Headlamp adjustment, for instance, is now a simple screw on top of the unit instead of messing about with adjusters at the back here. The oil filter is readily accessible. And the garages will like to hear that it's now very easy to change the timing belt. In the past, that was a major operation on a Cavalier. Vauxhall also say the car is going to be a lot easier to repair at the front end after a minor accident. Now, they've also paid a lot of attention to safety, and the doors feature clever flanges that ensure that in a, a bad accident, the doors will never jam together and lock, and that could save people's lives. Vauxhall have been very pleased with the performance of their British assembly plants of late. At one stage, it looked as though British assembly for Vauxhall could be under threat, but now they're making 70% of all cars they sell in the UK. But like all British car makers, their eyes are firmly fixed important and a distinctive class of car in the market. These new Cavaliers are certainly going to have the edge over much of the competition. This is the 1.4L four-door saloon. The engine is completely redesigned, and although it's 100cc larger than its predecessor, it delivers the same brake horsepower, that's just 75. What you have got, though, is much improved bottom-end flexibility and torque, and as you go up the rev range, the improved streamlining lifts the top speed from 99 up to 107 miles per hour. There's more room for luggage too, now some 18.7 cubic feet in the boot alone. But of course in the saloons as well as the hatchback, you can now lower the rear seat. Another plus point is that the sill at the back has been lowered some 6 inches to make loading in luggage much easier. But you'll have to try one yourself to see just how much Vauxhall has improved the drivability of this car from the changed pedal position to the completely redesigned suspension system, all adding up to pretty tough competition for the Ford Sierra. Well, the star on the Volkswagen stand is undoubtedly their new sport coupe, the Corrado, launched in two versions, the 16-bar version.